I'm Sean Cranish, the EMF Explorer from ElectroHealth.com. We're in Wisconsin today doing a home residential audit for electromagnetic fields or EMF and radiation. We have a couple wires going into the ground here, um, possibly connected to ground rods, um, but they are separate and we're getting a significant reading we're getting on one, we were getting about 120 milliamps, which normally it's like three milliamps, but we're getting 120 huge fields from that. The other, we're getting 250 at the moment, so also huge fields from that. So we're gonna find out where these wires are going and why there's so much current on them when there shouldn't be. Um, normally that would be there only in a fault situation or a lightning situation, but there shouldn't be current there running all the time, which there is. Okay, there's a big time electrical issue in this house. There is a wiring error or multiple errors of some sort because we should not be getting readings on this wall at all. Okay, so now we're in the backyard and we have a nice, awesome reading of about 12 nano Tesla and that's below the 20 that we wanna see. So that's where we wanna be. And when we get finished with this house, we want to see everything as close to this kind of number as possible. Okay, so now we're inside and outside we saw that major electrical issue and inside we found what that is and that has to do with the installation of the Generac generator. This property is a duplex, so we're going to go in both units and show you what that issue is causing. And here you'll see the magnetic fields, which are 24 seven from the miswiring and uh, configuring that, that system incorrectly. And then we'll show you after when it's fixed. Okay, so now we're downstairs. We're right below where we were upstairs. And this is where we're getting those high magnetic readings. And this is where the cable comes in. So you'll see that bright orange cable down there. And even though we're this far away, and we're, 10, we're more than 10 feet away, and we have a reading of 55, more than double the recommended level. As we get closer and closer, you'll see that continuously go up and up, right up to where this cable is. Okay, let's go into the other unit and see what's going on over there. So now we're in the main living quarters of the unit next door of the duplex. So this is where that Generac unit is outside and where the cable comes in and then goes to the other unit as well. So let's see from the orange cable below that comes in, we'll see what kind of readings we're getting from that. And we're gonna use the NFA 1000, which is available on our website, electrahealth.com, professional grade meter. And remember the safe level, the recommended level is 20. And we are up in the four or 500s here. This is at head level about 400. So now down at ground or floor level here, we can see we have a really high reading up to 1100. 50 times higher than it's supposed to be. And if you have small children crawling around, if you have pets, this is a huge concern. Okay, we're downstairs. This is where the cable comes in for the Generac, and we're gonna measure it right at the cable here. And we're gonna use our big orange clamp meter available on our website. Best tool for measuring this kind of thing, imbalances and leaks and we're gonna see what we're getting from these cables here. So now we've made the changes, we've fixed the issue and we're gonna measure again with the NFA 1000. We measured those cables before and they were in the thousands. So let's see now if we got it down within a safe level. Oh, wow. So we are down from thousands, 6,000 plus before down to in the 30s, 40s. That is incredible. So we're gonna also measure with a big orange clamp meter. We're gonna clamp this cable and see if it's balanced as it should be. Before we were getting a reading up in the amps, anywhere up to four amps, depending on the time. Now we got the zero. Yes, that's where it's supposed to be. That's a balanced cable. That's what the National Electric Code requires. That is done right. And that's gonna be healthy for this home. So this is the other cable that was in balance before because that current was taking pass, it wasn't supposed to. And there's a little bit on there, but that's from the grounding system. But that huge reading, that 1.5 to four amps is now gone and we're down at a good level. 
All right, let's take our NFA 1000, go check the living spaces again and see if we got those dangerous readings down. Okay, back on the same spot on the floor here. Let's see where we're at. 22, it was over 1100 before, down to 22. Okay, now that we have these down in the safe recommended levels, we don't have to worry about the harmful radiation, the electromagnetic fields from those cables for our children and our pets. And we're gonna go back next door and see at that unit if we're at the same grade levels. All right, so we're back here where before we had readings of five to 600 on this meter, nano Tesla. And this is where the power comes from the other unit underneath the floor. So let's see what we got. And I bet it's gonna be great. 21 nano Tesla, that's where we wanna be at. That means the power is right. It's done right now. Okay, now that we're downstairs again, we can measure this cable and make sure that we are good down here. So turn the meter on. Oh yeah. Before that was huge. Now it is nothing from this cable. So now that we've got this squared away, we've got those readings down, the client's happy. Gonna go ahead and put these covers on, close these up and it's been another successful job. I'm Sean Cranish, the EMF Explorer. Please like, subscribe, comment on this video, ask me questions, I'll answer. Um, visit our website, you can actually contact us. We do this work remotely over the phone. So our phone number, 815-986-7974. You can contact us through the website as well. We will help you, you can get this fixed as well.